Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I'm just uh, sitting in the trailer doing um, just doing some fall. I can't really call it maintenance. I'm winterizing the more home the uh, Seymour. So I'm repacking the tools, putting stuff away that had been maybe left out inadvertently. Inadvertently, um, during the summer, we only used uh, Seymour a couple times because of my uh, cancer treatments and everything, which have been going on since June. Uh, so I thought I'd give you a little update on that. Um, uh, right now we're the 22nd of October, 2017, and uh, what I've got going right now is I um, I had a scan last week. I've gone through two courses of chemo each. Uh, the first one was six rounds, and the second one was four rounds, and they're spaced every two weeks. Uh, after the first round, when the CT scan showed that the tumors had been growing from the scan in April, when I first had my uh, my diagnosis. Um, but what we didn't know was because it took two months for my stomach to heal uh, because of the infections that I had to uh, I had to um, forego chemotherapy until it closed because if you have an open incision the last thing you want is to have your immune system shut off so they didn't take a true baseline scan uh, just before I started the chemo in June so it had tumors had a couple of months that were that they were active uh, I don't know one way or the other about that uh, however that was the scan in August that showed that there, there was growth uh, but they were larger from April uh, I just had a scan last week after the second course and it shows that all the tumors uh, have stopped growing uh, which is I guess you could call it a win because you know, they're getting a handle on it um, one of the larger tumors though measures uh, it measured in August eight millimeters by 6.1 millimeters by four millimeters and it shrunk down to it's now eight millimeters by six millimeters by four millimeters so it dropped 0.1 millimeters on one of the um, one of the measurements um, so it doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're battling cancer, any small amount of change down, going down, is a good thing. Um, so we're staying on plan A. Uh, so I'll be going to start another round of six treatments, or another course of six treatments with uh, six rounds. And that'll be starting this coming Thursday. Um, which, as stupid as it sounds, I, I'm looking forward to it. And why? Because it makes me feel like crap. No, that's not why. I'm looking forward to it because I'm, I want to beat this. Um, you know, when, when I was first diagnosed, I know it's not an exact science, but when I was first diagnosed, my options were that they do nothing and I'd end up maybe six to twelve months well we surpassed the six months uh, uh, a couple of weeks ago so kind of morbid thinking I'm thinking okay I made it past the six months is it the one year going to do it and if I guess if the tumors had been growing then one year would have possibly been within reason 
of uh, expecting for life expectancy, um, which you know is very bleak, and that's what I've been facing and thinking about for seven months now. Um, but with with everything stopping, that changes things a bit. Um, uh, you know, it the cancer could still take me in six months or four months. Or could take me in a week. I don't know. Nobody knows. But the fact that the tumors are growing is a good thing, or aren't growing is a good thing. Um, so it may, it's possible I might just make the 36 month mark, like they said, which is kind of a, a large percentage of stage four uh, bowel cancer patients uh, will survive. 36 months. Now, if that's the case, then I've already burned through seven, so I have 29 months, so just a little over a couple years. And I know that it's just a guessing game, and the, but they're using statistics from past treatments of people. Um, the percent, the survival rate at five years for bowel cancer, metastatic bowel cancer, uh, is still not great. It's uh, last I saw, I think it was 12 to 18 percent survival at five years. So, do I get depressed about the fact that uh, I'm not going to see my grandchildren graduate from school or get married or anything like that? Well, I could think that way, but I choose not to. I'm I'm staying positive with this and everybody out there on YouTube and on my Facebook page. Um, I've had nothing but support from everybody. And, I'm, and believe me, when I'm down, uh, you know, because the, this cancer, cancer treatment is also affecting my MS. I'm not walking a lot now because my legs are... I, uh, I can't do a flight of stairs more than once. If I was going up a set of stairs, uh, and it's one step at a time, one foot, because one foot just won't lift, and that's part of the MS being worsened by the chemotherapy. So I got that going against me as well. Um, trying to do things with my hands, well, I've got puncture holes in my fingers from doing just normal basic stuff, trying to get the other house ready for sale. So that's not helping. Uh, with the stress either having that house hanging over us uh, we should have been on that a couple years ago but procrastinating I guess um, so I do plan on fighting this uh, to the to the bitter end or until I'm cured I don't want to cure. so in the meantime Amber just got home so I'm going to let you go take it easy have a good one